assure you, sir, there ain't a better quality vapor compressor this side of Concordia for the price. Are uh, you sure it'll work with my buggy? It sure doesn't look rated for high pressure. Uh, yes, sir. Certainly it will. It's the very same unit you need, just rebadged by local merchants to deceive honest customers such as your good self. My price simply cuts out their inflated profit margin. You got yourself a deal, young lady. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you, sir. I'll leave you to install it. Then I have an urgent appointment at Luna Junction. Thanks again. <clears throat> Sweet but dumb. I'll run her over in a sec and take back my money soon as I've installed this shiny new vapor compressor. <laughs> Eliza! Oh, she sounds all weird and posh. Main thing is she's alive, but can't have known how close she got to being horribly murdered. Good thing that compressor was dodgy. If you hurry, maybe you can catch up with her at Luna Junction. hasn't been fully operational in a long time, but I can get it running again. There'll be a console around here somewhere. Get me to it and I'll do the rest. I've been thinking... Now I'm free of him. The future's so iridescently bright. A new life betokens a new name. Felicity. It means happiness. From now on, I'm Felicity. Um, sure, Felicity. Shaped ace up my sleeve. Ha! I'm gonna strangle that girl when I catch up with her. He's flimmin' hysterical. Give him a slap. That should calm him down. Thanks. I needed that. The pretty little rat flags me down, says she needs help carrying a load of moonstones. Soon as I get out, she jumps in and takes off in my flame chariot. Sure, I was about to rob her blind, but that's it. Honest. I wasn't going to strangle her. Still, my chariot's got a tracker in it, and she's in for one hell of a surprise when I catch up with her. I can tell you, strangle. Eliza nicked this geezer's wheels. Good on her. Find out that tracker's frequency. No one's finding my big sis but me. A tracking frequency, please. You're joking! No bloody way on help us, I'm telling you that! No, 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 no way! No! Strangle. Strangle. Channel 27. Nice work. He was a right dodgy nutter. Right. Tuning into channel 27 now and updating your echo. for days after she stole me favourite rifle, Boganella. Almost got her too. 
Shot up at flash right, but she's smart. Bruce, if you find this, she took the jet fighter keys. Must be on her way to crisis scar to steal my pride and joy. <laughs> I'm losing blood fast, but if you can take her down, I'll get the last laugh. <laughs> Eliza either. But it sounds like she's got herself in a right two and eight state. We've got to get to her before Bruce does. Don't sound too friendly. Sounds like she's heading to the Crisis Scar comm tower. Updating your echo now.
to get the sausage and mash cash. Sis, it was me! I sent them! Pickle? Blow me down, it's me little brother's fault, Anna. Well, since you're here, a bunch of nasty scabs are about to arrive, led by someone who wants my noggin on a stick. Buy me enough time to refuel this jet fighter and I'll come and help. Deal? Bolt Hunter, help my sis and I promise I won't never nick anything out your pockets again. Right. <laughs> 
noise is on her way here. Cool, oh, blimey! I'd better spruce the place up and get the kettle on. Feel free to pop back when you can. I'd love you to meet her. Warning, zero atmosphere environment. <clears throat> We had a good old chinwag about our folks, the future and all that. Then, while I brewed us another cuppa, she scarpered, nicking off me savings and most of me best inventory. She's family, all right. Oh, so long, sis. Till next time. Oh, she left you a fancy rifle. Said it was too mouthy for her or something. 